Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the next hockey video on the channel. I was on Pure Low Wisdom Show earlier. That's why I'm still daft out on the nicer stuff. Go check out his channel, where we also talked about how good this guy is doing, Andrew Majipani with Payton on the radio. And subscribe here down below on the easy-to-use widget up above to watch the JB and Steel Show here that's coming out later, and it's on Steel Flyers channel now that I've linked at the end. But let's get into just how good... The whiz of a steal of a pick, Andrew Maggiapani has been. He has a Corsi 4 of 57.6, absolutely ridiculous. And then Ozone percentage, start percentage of 59.5. He is an absolutely great possession player at only 5'10", 184, according to Hockey Reference. And he is a guy this year that's already a plus 7. He has 4, count them, 4. Talk about being clutch. He has four game-winning goals already, and is behind Johnny Goudreau, Elias Lindholm, and Matthew Kachuk, pretty much the Flames' best offensive, not pretty much, is the Flames' best offensive player, with 17 points, 15 goals, and two assists, after being a six-round pick. And the other thing on top of that with Andrew Maggiapani is, after being a six-round pick in 2015, he was already up in the NHL at 21, being a six-round pick. That's when you know you're doing something right. Yeah, yes, did the Flames kind of need forwards at that point? Sure, but you also have to be really progressing well and really doing your thing well in order to progress through the ranks like that no matter what your club needs. And that's exactly what Andrew Maggiapani was doing his entire time while developing, and he got rewarded early, and that's what he kind of got to go through the bumps and bruises of the league that you have to learn from as a young developing player and he's obviously came out on the brilliant end of it now turning into a six-round steal and he already was a six-round steal because for a six-round pick having two consecutive 32-point seasons is very good in itself because you just expect a six-round pick when you look at the percentages of guys that even make the league. It's only like, I believe it's like in the teens at most. I think it might even be lower for six. I might be thinking of more like fourth round picks, but I don't remember the percentage off the top of my head, but it's not high. And for this guy to make the league and be that productive, be one of the best goals per game guy, I think he might be the best when I saw it on NHL discussion the other day. But either way, he's up there in one of the best goals per game guys in the league as a six round pick. You got yourself a steal. This Calgary team with Dan Vlador as the backup playing like he's playing when they didn't even envision the man um, being the backup coming into the season. They are a mighty dangerous club, this Calgary team. They are going to be a mighty dangerous team this entire season. Johnny Goudreau is back, of course, being a huge factor, getting a player of the week name and looking like an absolute wizard again. Obviously, now if they can figure it out. Maybe they will try to re-sign him because then you can have him grouped in with guys like Maggiapani. But Maggiapani, back to him, he's a guy that is just great, consistent on the forecheck as well. He plays a great, well-rounded game, a great 200-foot game like Peyton on the radio pointed out on Pirlo Wisdom's show that he's very good on both ends of the puck, and that's what he's been his entire career in his 32-point seasons, and now it looks like he's going to crush his season high of 32 points, or his career highs of 32 points, I should say, and absolutely demolish that this season, since he already has 17 points in 19 games, and has been pretty much a points-per-game guy, and almost pretty much a goals-per-game guy, 15 goals in 19 games. That's even more impressive, a goals-per-game guy, this far as a six-round pick that has really been impressive already in his career, but really has taken it to an all-new level this year and is playing like a stellar top-six forward, proving the Flames obviously right again and again <clears throat> that they picked this guy in the sixth round and gave him every chance to succeed at a young age, only a couple years after being drafted in 17, 18, he was drafted in 15, you'll usually see guys pick that late, progress that quickly, gave them him every chance, and obviously we have seen why throughout his career at those 32-point seasons, now you really see what he's being able to become with a coach like Daryl Sutter, who's very experienced, obviously, at putting guys into the right positions like he did in Los Angeles, and now he's pulling all the right punches in Calgary. So this has been a video on the great Andrew Maggiapani being one of the best draft steals in that 2015 draft as he was picked. That is becoming, honestly, a very good draft. 
that 2015 draft as Andrew Mangiapane <clears throat> to get the exact pick real quick was picked sixth round 166th in that draft according to cap friendly so he's turned into a hell of a player and a guy that is an absolute fun wizard to watch on the ice and also the big thing to close out the video he's not afraid at only the size he is a 5 and 11 to go to the front of the net either because this is from the eighth so he's obviously had a lot more goals since then but he already had three goals powered by the aws advanced stats in front of the net and he scored more obviously since then He's a guy that plays in all facets of the game, plays with no fear with his size, and is able to kind of do it all for you. Can be on the PK, can be on the <coughs> power play, excuse me. So he's a hell of a fine for the Flames, and he's a huge part of their future going forward. And a guy also that at this point, if they can't re-sign Johnny Goudreau because of financials, obviously they have to pay Matty Kachuk as well, it's going to way lessen that blow if Andrew Maggiapani keeps progressing at the pace he is, specifically because they're also going to go out and get somebody else to probably fill the gap of Johnny Goudreau, one would believe. But this has been a video on the great Andrew Majapani. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and please subscribe if you enjoy the content up above at the widget or down below on the EGU subscribe button. Peace out, everybody, and have a safe evening.